Hello everyone, it's time for another application review. This time I will be reviewing TV Portal. It is similar to reviews I've done in the past on Popcorn Time, Mob Dro, Showbox. And we start up the interface. This is what we see. It says I'm not connected to the internet. That's a bunch of bullshit. We'll worry about that later. Oh, well, gotta worry about it right now actually. Sorry guys. get on a good 5G network so we'll have hopefully a decent speed for the program. Alright, here we go. Now I'm connected. When we bring it up, it immediately asks if we want to follow us, or them rather, for updates, special offers, and previous or upcoming versions. So we'll close all that bullshit. By default, we are set to look at movies, and we have relatively new titles. Fantastic Four, The Transporter Refueled, so on and so forth. You can scroll down and see what all is available, which appears to be a pretty good bit. Uh, we can go to settings. There's not much offered. It has a don't use Chromecast and a check to enable proxy setting. Neither one of those I'm terribly worried about. Also, we have TV shows available. And I'm sure you can look through and see, see what you like. Then there's a favorites tab and then a recent tab. All right. Let's see how well this works. So let's go with Cop Car. And when you load it up, it will bring up an interface showing the various servers that hosted the content available to us. Seems to be running a little slowly. And slowly but steadily loading. Okay. All my videos.net is mirror one. Notice the Chromecast symbol to the right. Uh, I'm guessing the ones that don't have the Chromecast symbol don't don't cast. We'll take the first one available and see what happens. It says we're fetching the link for you. Couldn't retrieve the video. Please try out another mirror. We'll do that. We'll try number two. And then it asks us if we want to play it with the TV portal player, other player, TV portal pop-up player, or network devices. I imagine the network devices uses DLNA or maybe uh, some other some other format in order to display. I want to try it just once just to see what's available available to me. There may not be much, if anything, here at work. We do have an Xbox that might pop up, but at any rate, that's kind of a side issue. We'll worry about that later. So we're just going to use the, the TV portal player here. We'll set it for just once. Let's see if my auto rotation is on. Okay, it is. And I imagine it's going to take a little while to load. Try to turn it sideways to see if that helps or if it even displays correctly in YouTube. But this is apparently going to be the movie they say that it is. Cop Car is a pretty good movie for those who haven't seen it. It looks as if the main difference between this program and then, say, Showbox, for instance, hey, is that you're more or less limited to watching it instead of downloading it. However, if you're crafty, you probably realize that just just by by watching the content that the cache is stored on the memory in your in your phone somewhere. If you have root access, you could probably probably find it. The creature. All right, we don't have time to watch the whole movie today, and I've got a customer coming in, so this will be the end of my review. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it.